Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and said that the join nodes would not work. So I'm holding down the shift key and selecting both of them. But I actually need to do it with the shape tool. And see what happens if it will not select both of them like you need to do. Well, the problem is this is an ellipse and it's not a curve. So you need to convert that to a curve and we'll then do this one to a curve, arrange and convert to curve. Then let's zoom in here. You can take the shape tool, click on that item, hold down the shift key, select that one, that one, and that one, and go to join nodes, which is underneath the Docker mindset right here because I use it a lot. But if you go to window dockers, join nodes it'll pop up he's working in millimeters and i don't know how big that is but just hit apply and now you can see that these lines well it didn't work let's do it again and there's really an easier way to do this i'm going to click on that hold down the shift key and hit apply And there you have it. Of course, that line's a little bit off at the bottom. I might have moved it, playing with it. Let's back up here. Now, I said there's an easier way to do that. Yes, those lines are, I must have, I must have moved it. There we go. Let's see if I moved it a little bit more. Yeah, I moved it in, inadvertently when I was doing something. But you see, this is in a, it's a curve now. So we can select that, that that holding down the shift key and then just kind of select them all and hit apply now there's a lot easier way to do this and i actually hit it again looks like because it is now it's all one piece but you need to kind of do that throughout the whole thing so what i would do and, and i love using the smart fill tool the smart fill tool will solve all that so let's see how wide this is 100 millimeters I'm going to make it 120 millimeters. I'm going to use a smart fill tool. I'm going to fill this in. And he's evidently got a leak. So let's take a triangle, rectangle, use the smart fill tool and fill that in. He's got a bunch of leaks. So in this particular case, that won't work. Um, if you did not have any leaks and we could and the reason he has the leaks is because of the nodes aren't closed. And these are all, these are curves. So let's do this. Let's get rid of our rectangle for a second. Let's select all this and convert them to a curve. Now we should be able to take the shape tool and select all of it and join the nodes. Then we can take, let's do a rectangle just in case. I'm pretty sure it's not going to leak. There you have it. And then just nudge it out of the way. Left click, right click. And there's the exact drawing. Now this is in a thinner line. I don't know if he's going to cut it out. This is a two point line because that's what he has a smart field set on. Well, it doesn't even have it set. Uh, he has it for none. But maybe, no, that's what I, when I left clicked it, he has it set. So if you want to cut this out, just double click on that and pick hairline. I would make it red just because that's a cut line. And there you have the exact item. Let's nudge it back over and you can see it's the exact shape. And it sealed all the nodes. You can see, even see that that red line is inside your black line. So. Easiest thing to do would be to select it all, turn it all to curves, and then just join the nodes. But if you ever have something that's already joined and you just want to connect the pieces, then the easiest thing to do is a smart fill tool. Anyway, I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.